Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing Laplace transform, effect of division by t, problem number 2. Welcome back friends, let's discuss the second problem of effect of division by t and the problem is cos at minus cos bt upon t. First problem was e raised to minus t sin t upon t. Hope you understood that problem. Now let's move on and let's discuss this particular example. First of all, try to identify the property given in the problem. Say this. What you can identify from this? This is effect of division by t. This is for sure, right? What is the technique? Forget about the property. So this is your effect of division by t. Forget about it. So let's leave it. So if you forget the property, then we are left with what a consider Laplace of cos at minus cos bt and what is Laplace of cos at minus cos bt yes please see here both the terms are separated by minus therefore we can separate Laplace and this is Laplace of cos at minus Laplace of cos bt so Laplace of cos at is s upon s square plus a square minus Laplace of cos bt is s upon s square plus b square we got Laplace of cos at minus cos bt. This problem can come in the exam for 6 marks and it has come several times for 6 marks in the exams. Okay, so done with this. What next? The property that you forget, you must remember it back. So what is that? By effect of division by t Laplace of cos at minus cos bt upon t. Yes, cos at minus cos bt is Laplace is s upon s square plus a square s upon s square plus b square. And due to this t, what we gonna do? We gonna integrate it from s to infinity. Yes, friends. Uh, recap the formula list. Seven formulas I have given you. Tell me which formula is applicable here. Yes, please. 3, 4, 5. Which one? 3, 4 or 5. See, there is a difference between 3 and 4. Integration formula that I am talking about. In the third formula, in the denominator, it is s square plus 1. In the fourth formula, it is s square plus a square. That is there. That is here only. But in the fifth, in the fourth formula, in the numerator, it is 1. And in the fifth formula, in the numerator, it is 2s. Since we have s, therefore we gonna apply formula number 5. Suppose it would be 1. Then in that case, it would be formula number 4. But here we have s, therefore formula number 5. But what is the problem? In formula number 5, the formula is for 2s, not for s. Then what? You need to make this s. You need to convert this s into 2s. So how it can be done? Very simple. 1 upon 2 adjustment you need to multiply and divide by 2 so this will be s to infinity 2s upon s square plus a square minus 2s upon s square plus b square into ds it's very simple see here if you take 2 common from this that will be cancelled with this half so it's very simple 2 common cancel with this half so this is your adjustment Are you clear with the step? If you do you think it is 1 by 4? No, it's not 1 by 4. You, you must be thinking 2 and 2. Since it is minus in between, it has to be 1 by 2. Okay, let us move on. Now, this expression has come in formula number 5. So, let us apply that formula. So, this will be 1 upon 2. Let us apply. So, this is 2s upon s square plus a square is a log of s square plus a square minus log of s square plus b square what next obviously we know this right there is a basic property of log a minus log b is what log of a by b this concept we already know i'm going to apply here this is a i'm assuming this term is a and this term is b so this will be log a minus log b and log a minus log b is log of a by b so this will be 1 upon 2 log of s square plus a square upon s square plus b square 
this I am assuming A, this I am assuming B. So this will be log A minus log B and it will be log of A by B. A is this and B is this. And obviously limits will be there. And here also S to infinity. Yes. What next? We need to put the limits. Upper limit minus lower limit. But wait. Friends, wait. If you put upper limit infinity, entire term will become infinity. See here. If you put infinity in place of S, so that will become infinity plus A square. And this entire term will become infinity and this will become log infinity and log infinity is infinity. Is this clear? If you put infinity in place of S, this term will become infinity, this will become log infinity and log infinity is infinity and an entire term will become infinity. So obviously you cannot put directly. What next? So what can be done? For solving this problem, what needs to be done is you need to take S square common. You need to take S square common. See this step very carefully. You need to take S square common from numerator as well as denominator. Why are we doing it? It's very clear because if you put infinity, the entire result will be infinity, which I don't want. Let us take S square common from the numerator. So it will be 1 plus A square upon S square. If we take S square common from both the terms, so S square will come out and this will be Taking common means dividing. So this will be 1 plus a square upon s square. Let's take s square common from the denominator also. If you take s square common from the denominator, it will be 1 plus b square upon s square. What next? Now this will be cancelled. Okay. Now if you put in place of s infinity, let us put, let us substitute upper limit minus lower limit so let me write it down upper limit here if you put infinity in place of s that will become a square upon infinity and anything upon infinity is what zero if you don't know please make a note of it if you put infinity here this will become a square upon infinity and anything upon infinity is zero therefore this term will become this term will become zero and you will be left with log one if you don't know, let me write it down here. Anything upon infinity, let's say anything, let me write down properly, anything upon infinity is zero. Okay, so if you put infinity here, this will be zero, this term will become zero and you will be log one, log one upon one, but in short, this term will become one. How? This will be zero, this will be zero. So this will be one upon one, that is log one only. So this is your upper limit minus lower limit. Now for lower limit, in place of S, you are going to put S. So in place of S, if you put S, that will, term will remain as it is. So this will remain as it is. So done with upper limit, lower limit. Obviously, we know log 1 value. Log 1 value is 0. Again, if you don't know, let me write it down here. Log 1 value is 0. So this term will be 0. And let's take this minus outside. So this will be minus half. How? This log 1 is 0. So this term is gone. I'm taking this minus outside. So that will be half is already there. If we take minus outside, that will become minus half log of now let us solve this term here i'm going to take s square common from here uh, s square lcm so if you take s square as lcm and cross multiply this will become s square plus a square upon s square the whole divided by if you take s square lcm this will be s square plus b square upon s square so this will be gone and in short we'll be left with minus half log of s square plus a square upon s square plus b square so you can stop here or if you want to go ahead you can go ahead further with one more log property that i'm going to write it down here and the property is 
a log b is equal to log of b raised to a so this is the property one more property and the property is very simple this a will go up so whatever is the coefficient of log that will go up see here whatever is the coefficient of log that will go up so here if you observe this is your coefficient minus half so if you compare this this a is equivalent to minus half that will go up that means this is your a and that will go up here that will become log of s square plus a square upon s square plus b square raised to minus half how see the same way a will go this side same way minus half will go up what next we are almost done with the problem now due to this minus half if you take if you consider these two terms individually one is minus and one is half half means root first of all okay half means root so we need to take square root square root of this term okay so that will be square root of s square plus a square upon s square plus b square and we also have minus and what is the effect of minus the terms will be swapped means this will be log of first of all there will be a square root for sure half because of this half and due to this minus this term will be swapped that means in the numerator we'll get s square plus b square upon s square plus a square so that is the required solution for this particular problem are you clear with this so this problem comes in the exam for six marks can you make it eight marks how yes how very simple just add one fsp here so let me write it on fsp here let's say it is to minus 2t so what will be the effect by fsp laplace of e raised to minus 2t cos a t minus cos b t the whole divided by t yes what will be the effect is equal to log of so due to this minus 2 what will happen s will be shifted by s will be shifted by since it is minus 2 s will be shifted by plus 2 so this will be log of root of s plus 2 the whole is square plus b square upon s plus 2 the whole square plus a square so the problem initially was for 6 marks we converted into 8 marks hope you understood done with it in the next video we'll be discussing few more examples on effect of division by t thank you